Hello Oracle Database World, this is Justin and in this Oracle Database video tutorial I am going to show you how to drop a or revoke a system privilege from a user in an Oracle Database. Now um, there are two types of privileges in an Oracle Database. You have system privileges and object privileges. Now system privileges are predefined privileges which allow users to do things, to perform actions in an Oracle Database i.e. create a table, drop a table, create a user, drop a user, and so on and so forth. Um, you can also think of them as, as, as privileges that allow users to execute certain Oracle commands. Now, the other type of privilege is called an object privilege. And an object privilege allow, um, allows users to modify or view certain objects. They, um, they refer to tables, sequences, views, basically objects in an Oracle database. Okay. Now, first thing we need to do is we need to set our Oracle SID to finance and we need to ensure that we are set properly. And we connect with the SQL Plus program to our finance database. We type in show user to verify that we're connected as the sys user and we do a select name from the dollar sign database to ensure we're connected to the finance database. Now there is a user, select username from DBA underscore users where username is equal to rich, called rich. So we have a user defined to our Oracle database called rich. And if we type in select grantee and privilege column from the DBA underscore sys underscore privs view where grantee is equal to Justin I'm sorry Rich we will see that Rich has two system privileges create session and create table okay and we can prove that he has both of these by connecting with SQL plus typing in the username Rich typing in his valid password Rich123 and the fact that we can even connect to the Oracle database shows that he has create session privilege. Okay? And if we do a create table of phones for phone numbers and have it one um, column phone and make it the number type with 10 digits, so you can put area codes as well we see that we were able to create our phones table and we can describe it, we can select from it which is no no data was put into it and we can say select table underscore name from user underscore tables where table underscore name is equal to phones there it is phones so we proved that the user rich has both create session and a uh, drop and create table system privileges. So we connect as the DBA again and we see there's Rich with these two system privileges, create session and create table. If we type we want if we want Rich to not have the create table system privilege any longer, what we can do is the following. Revoke instead of grant, it's revoke. Grant gives you the privilege. See my video on how to grant system privileges to see that. Revoke is the opposite. It takes privileges away. So revoke create table from rich. You'll notice that two things changed here when we're revoking instead of granted. When we granted um, a system privilege, we used grant instead of revoke, then the privilege name. But instead of from, we said to. So because when you grant, you're given. Okay, it's to. You're tossing a ball to. Let's say. Okay, when you're taken away, okay, it's like you're receiving a ball, it's being tossed to you from someone. Horrible analogy, but you get the point. So, when you grant, you use the grant verb, okay, so the command grant, um, so it's um, grant, and you use the from clause, which means you're taking it away from rich, not giving it to rich. So, revoke create table from rich. Revoke succeeded. Now we connect as user rich. Show user because we didn't get we didn't take away the create session system privilege, so we can still connect. 
But now when we do create table friends, let's say we have a table that tracks all of our friends, name bar car 20, let's say, it's going to say insufficient privileges. Even though we were able to create the table phones earlier, we can't create a table now because we took away that system privilege. And if you look, if you do one, your select grantee of and, pri and grantee comma privilege from DBA says priv privs, where grantee equals rich again, you will see that he doesn't have a create table system privilege anymore. All he has is a create session. And if you were to revoke create session from rich, again we're using revoke instead of grant, and we're using from instead of to. And you select, you'll see no rows selected because Rich has no pri system privileges granted to him, as if we just created a user. When you create a user in Oracle database, that user has can't do anything; doesn't have permission to do, to not do anything in Oracle database. Now we fire up SQL Plus, we type in Rich, we type in a valid password, and this time he can't even connect to the Oracle database, let alone create tables, because he doesn't even have the create session privilege, which is the most basic privilege a user needs to connect to an Oracle database. Okay, that's how you uh, revoke a system privilege from a user in an Oracle database.